All right, so we're going deep today. Deep. Yeah, into the career of David Harris. Okay. Cochise yeah. from the Warriors. Right. We got this article about his legacy. Awful. Oh, I think it'll be interesting yeah. to kind of pick it apart. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. Um, You know, the Warriors. Class. You think 1970s New York. Oh, yeah. Graffiti grit. Yeah. And boom, there's the Warriors right in the middle of yeah. it. This is a phenomenon. You know what's funny, though? What? It wasn't a phenomenon, like, right away. Really? It had some controversy when it first came out. Oh, yeah. I remember reading about that. Yeah. Like, this unexpected yeah. rise to fame. Crazy, right? Yeah. Like, Harris even said... What'd he say? ...that he thought the movie would just, like, disappear. Wow. But it didn't. It didn't at all. It became, like, this legendary thing. That's the thing about cult films. Yeah. They capture a moment. Look at you. And the Warriors nailed it. Dude. That gritty realism. Yeah. Plus, that comic book look was, like, groundbreaking at the time. I could see that. And the social commentary. Oh, yeah. Be Gang violence, urban decay. Right. But even deeper than all that, uh -huh. it was about survival. Totally. Belonging. Yeah. Still resonates with people today. Absolutely. And right there in the middle of all of it is Cochise. Cochise. You know? Yeah. He's not the main guy. Right. But you remember him? Unforgettable. Yeah, the look, the headband, the necklaces. So iconic. Totally. But it's more than the look. What do you mean? Cochise has this quiet intensity. Okay. You know, a real steadiness. Okay, yeah. He's magnetic. I see that. Not the loudest warrior. Right. But you can't miss him. Especially with all that chaos. Especially in all that chaos, yeah. Remember that scene okay. after they're framed for the murder? Oh, yeah. Everyone's freaking out. Right. But Cochise is just like, Wow. Just taking it all in. Yeah. That scene shows you how deep he is. Oh, really? Yeah, Walter Hill. The director. Yeah, he does this close up okay. on Harris's face. Uh huh. And you see the wheels turning. What do you mean? He's not just reacting. Yeah. He's thinking. Okay. Strategizing. Yeah. So much bravado in that movie. Right. But Cochise, he's just thinking. Right. And that says it all. Wow. He's essential to that journey back to Coney Island. Yeah. Not just physically, yeah. but for their morale, too. Interesting. It seems like Harris brought that grounded energy yeah. to other roles, too. Right. This article mentions he had, like, yeah. a pretty diverse career. He did. Of it. Outside of the Warriors TV films, uh -huh. NYPD Blue, MacGyver. I love MacGyver. Really? Oh, yeah. It makes you wonder why some actors yeah. get stuck with one role. Right. Like, that's their thing. It really is. Even if they've done other stuff. Yeah. I think it shows how powerful certain characters are. Yeah. Like, they really stick with people. Cochise and the Warriors. It's like the same. Synonymous. Yeah. Certain attitude. Yeah. You know, a certain. Coolness. Exactly. Like how Harris put it. How do you say it? It feels great to know that you're a part of some film that's history. Powerful. And he's right. He is. The Warriors is history. Cinematic history. For sure. Cochise and all of that, yeah. his journey yeah. makes you think. About what? Is it just about getting back to Coney Island? Or, I mean, or is there something more what? like an internal change? Mm. You know, finding his place, right? his purpose. Even all that chaos. Yeah. That's a good point. It is. Makes me want to rewatch it. You should. Yeah. If you haven't seen The Warriors. Definitely watch it. Gotta check it out. It's a wild ride. It really is. And Cochise. What about him? You won't forget him. You really won't. You really won't. Great deep dive. I agree. I always learn something. Until. Until next time. See ya.